I'm Kate McCartney. And I'm Kate McLennan. We're lactating. Welcome to the catering show. So we're mums now. Hmm. Thank you. And because we're new mums, we've probably lost our substantial male fan base on Reddit. Oh no, guys, why? Come back. We miss you. But that's okay because we found a whole new market to tap into. Hello, Hello mums! Midnight feeds, thank God for makeup. Just drink the wine and turn the baby monitor off. Where's my pelvic floor gone? I'm urinating freely. I'm not racist, but those Asian babies need to stop stealing our formula. Am I right, ladies? Ladies! Ladies! <laughs> Having a baby, I've gleaned all of my parenting information from Facebook groups and mummy blogs because books are heavy and my maternal health nurse is a liar. Now, normally mummy forums are a source of criticism, food shame, bullying and the sort of anti-woman sentiment usually reserved for fortune. But don't worry, girlfriends, we might be on the internet and we might be new mums. Thank you. But the, the Catering Show Kitchen is a place of no judgement. We do not judge other mothers unless they are our own. We're also not going to judge those women who haven't had children. We do not judge you at all, but we will just say, you need to start having them now. Fucking changed our lives. You will not regret it. Stop watching this, go get yourself spermed. Best thing I've ever done. Didn't even know I was a woman until I had a baby. Thought I was a hatchback. My life was empty and now it is very full. Yes. It's jam-packed. It's claustrophobic. <sighs> For a new mum, it's totally normal to feel a bit sad, teary, headachey, tired, bit of flashing in front of the eyes. I think that's a tumour. What you need is more protein, iron and vitamin B. Now, of course, you could go down to the shops and buy yourself a multivitamin for that. But going to the shops is hard when you're a new mum who's frightened to leave the front door in case she sprints down the freeway towards a new life for herself. So we're going to avoid all of that by cooking what we already have in the freezer. This is my placenta. According to no clinical research whatsoever, eating your own placenta can cure postnatal depression. And what a convenient way to eat your own faeces. You can cook your placenta up into a stew, put it on a pizza, mix it into a cocktail, or you could even keep it raw and blend it into a smoothie. Fuck it. Today, we're going to cook up my placenta into a delicious FODMAP-friendly lasagna. Yeah, cos who doesn't love lasagna with its bechamel sauce and placenta? Exactly. So let's get started. <sighs> Gosh. <laughs> it's amazing to think that this was just inside my body for nine months. Marinating before it was fished out of my uterus. <laughs> OK, well, I'm just going to um, remove the membrane from the delicious meat. Unless you want to have a go, McCartney. No, I'm going to uh, go do the booze reviews. OK, great. <laughs> All right. Oh, OK. Got that off. Pop the umbilical cord. Over to the side. Right. This is a Japanese filleting knife. And it just slices the meat so beautifully. Now, everyone knows that drinking whilst breastfeeding is completely fine. Get off my fucking back. But for the more discerning parent, there's something even better than alcohol. This is a glass of water that I got from the tap. And this is oxycodone that I got after my emergency C-section. It gives you a nice feeling of being dead from the neck in both directions. Anyway, cheers to you 
And cheers to Melanie, the nurse who decided to talk to me about her Thermomix as I was giving birth to my child. Melanie? Hmm. Now, McCartney, you actually had a baby before me, which really threw the natural order of things out of whack. <laughs> How old is your little DD now? She is born on a Sunday. Hmm, that is a great age. And how's she sleeping? Through the night. Huh. <laughs> what a little cunt. So I'm just cooking up the meat for my placenta lasagna. My lasagna. The FODMAP version doesn't have any garlic or onion in it, but that's OK, cos the placenta is full of flavour from... It's also vegan, because it's me. And I give myself permission to eat me. I also give McCartney permission to eat me. Don't need it. <laughs> She'll be changing her tune when she smells it. <laughs> With the meat cooked, it's time to bake my lasagna. We'll be baking it at 250 degrees to really blitz the E. coli. While that's baking, we're going to get started on our desserts. Breast milk ice cream. For this and other recipes containing McLennan's Afterbirth, check out the The Catering Show website. lasagna and our breast milk ice cream is ready to eat. We are literally yummy mummies. <laughs> McCartney, do you want to be the first person to try my lasagna? No, because it smells like you and you smell like a rabies bat. Why don't you try some? Oh, I don't really feel like it right now. I'm, I'm a little bit full. Really? What did you eat? Out of yoghurt. Well, you've, you've gone all this effort. You should try some. I might save mine for later. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm Thank really, you. no, I'm fine. No, so I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm... Yeah. How's your ice cream? Oh, I can't eat it because it's full of lactose. Yeah, but it's your milk and you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. So there's no lactose in it? Well, it's full of lactose. But you don't have any lactose. Yeah. Yeah, so you can have it because you're lactose intolerant. But it has lactose in it. But you don't have any lactose. Yeah, but it does. But you don't. No, I don't. But it does. But you don't have lactose. Lactose is the sugar in milk. It doesn't matter if you can't absorb lactose. You still produce it. What? So you can make lactose in your body, but you can't eat lactose in your body? Yes. Mm-hmm. You good? Right. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you don't have any lactose. 